the frantic 911 call from a Florida woman who police say shot a neighbor on her doorstep. She's now facing manslaughter charges, and ABC's Victor Okendo has more. This morning, the Florida woman, who allegedly shot through her front door, killing her neighbor, is out on bond after being charged with manslaughter. Police releasing the distressing calls to 911. Oh my God, this lady just tried to break down my door. I didn't know what to do. I grabbed my gun and I just shot at the door. Moments before the shooting last Friday, 58-year-old Susan Lorenz calling police after confronting a group of kids playing in the field near her home, including the children of 35-year-old A.J. Owens. There's several kids out there right now, and I'm feeling for my life. I'm very scared. According to a police affidavit, Lorenz admitted to police she had previously used racial slurs against the children, allegedly telling the kids, get away from my house, you black slave and allegedly throwing a roller skate at them. She has said numerous racial slurs to our children. Um, she has called the cops just for them playing. Authorities say minutes later, Owens approached Lorenz's home with one of her children, repeatedly knocking on the door and demanding she come outside. Police say Lorenz then fired a single shot through her locked front door, fatally striking Owens in the chest. I saw her laying down on the ground, and that's when I went in and I started doing uh, scanning for open wounds. Franklin Cologne said he heard the gunshot and yeah. ran out to help Owens. Yeah. Had she lost a lot of blood? She did, yes sir. You could see the blood on, um, on the ground. Neighbors calling 911. Her son can be heard in the background. Is your mom laying in the grass or what? I know. Hey, is your mom laying in the grass? Yes! Sorry, bro. Thanks for your mom, all right? <laughs> According to the sheriff, there was an ongoing feud between the neighbors. In February, police report state Lorenz called police alleging Owens picked up a no trespassing sign and threw it at her as she walked her dog on Owens' property. In April, Lorenz calling the police again alleging Owens had opened her mailbox. We've reached out to Lorenz. Her attorney says she has no comment. If convicted for manslaughter, she could face up to 30 years in prison. Guys? All right, our thanks to Victor, thinking of Owens and her family, especially her children. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA. Today is Sunday, June 11th, the year is 2023. I'm sitting here drinking a cup of coffee and having some water. I feel like I have a hangover or something because I got a slight headache. Um, it's raining outside. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, gosh, you know, this story kind of broke my heart about this uh, young this mother being killed trying to talk to a neighbor over a dispute over children playing in the yard. I, I almost, I hate that the woman who was killed made the mistake of going over there and knocking on that woman's door. We live, I don't know if you all have been paying much attention, but ever since Donald Trump became president, ran for office, became president, we have seen a side of white, a side of racist white people that we knew existed. We knew it was out there, but now they've come out in full force without, they don't care. Who knows or sees Donald Trump made his whole presidency made it okay to be an outright racist again. I felt like we went through a time warp when we were back in the fifties, forties, fifties, or sixties. But here we are in 2023 and we're still dealing with some serious race issues and homophobia issues across the nation. And this is all a direct, um, directly related to Pre President Donald Trump running for office and winning. It's almost frightening that people will live their live their lives in this manner, so to be so racist and hateful for no reason, especially towards children. But I sure wish that woman had never knocked on that on that next door, knocked on that woman's door, y'all. I've learned to stay away from my neighbors. I say hello. No matter where I've lived at, no matter the race, um, I've learned that it's just best when you're dealing with neighbors or you're having disputes with neighbors. I don't go. I don't go near their property. I don't go near their property. Um, 
I would have never walked over there and knocked on that woman's door. If I was having a problem that required some type of assistance, I would have called 911 and told them what took place. But I would have never walked over there and knocked on their door. In fact, I've had situations where I had neighbors that I didn't like. And guess what I did, y'all? I moved. I packed my street and moved. I used to live in Lithonia. I, I built a house out in Lithonia and back in 1997. And there was a particular neighbor who lived across from me, another gay guy. And he, he didn't particularly, we started off as friends and then it exploded into some craziness. And I realized, I don't wanna live next door to this man for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I said, well, that house was still brand new. And I went, I moved downtown and bought me a house down in the city, downtown Atlanta, and I sold that house. You know, I didn't wanna live next to that type of drama. It was supposed to be a neighbor and uh, before I would live next to crazy neighbors, try, first off, I try to avoid my neighbors as best I can. I say hello and I say goodbye. I've never been the type of person to be over at my neighbor's house, controlling, laughing. And I just learned, to, 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 for me, it's always been about keeping my distance from neighbors, um, saying hello, being cordial, and then going to the house and locking my door and going, and going on about my damn day. That's just, that's just me. So I get when I hear people having these incidents with these neighbors and y'all there was an incident a few years back where in a condo building a black couple got shot and killed because the neighbor their dog was supposedly had urinated on the deck and it leaked down below to the lower deck and this white guy grabbed the gun and went and shot and killed a black, a black couple I don't know if y'all remember that uh, incident. But there have been, we've had a lot of incidents with these neighbors. There was another incident in Tennessee where a neighbor, a white neighbor got into it with another black neighbor and shot and killed. Uh, I can't remember the details, but I know they had got into it. These white folks, y'all, we just, just face it, you know. Like I said, ever since Donald Trump became president, we have seen people being who they really are, just racist, crazy people. You know, you got people out here just doing what they want to do to hurt and harm and kill people for no reason. Some of shot, just grabbed a gun and shot through the door because she felt that this was the best way to handle that circumstance of that situation. Seems kind of crazy to me. Now, I wouldn't be shooting nobody through no door, especially if the door is closed. She should have been charged with murder, not instead of manslaughter. If your door is closed, you're not in any, any harm or any danger. Why was she just charged with manslaughter? She should have been charged with murder. Because what harm could she have gotten through a closed door? The door was closed and locked. And she shot through the door? Okay. Make it make sense. But again, I'm not going to knock on a neighbor's door. When I lived in Buckhead, there was some neighbors behind me. I never, we, they had problems with some of the landscaping and stuff that I was doing, and they would come over and say stuff to, to my workers and stuff. I never talked to those people. For what? Try to resolve what? I'm on my property doing work on my own home, doing my own landscaping. It has nothing to do with them. These people who lived behind me were coming over there. To, I, I, I made it, I wasn't going to say anything to them. Because there was no need to. And I told my workers to just ignore them and keep going. We're not on their property. We had not crossed their property. There's nothing. We will, y'all do it. We put in landscaping, building. They would literally walk across my yard, deep into my yard, at least 100 feet, to talk to my workers whose trucks were not on their property, who didn't even nowhere near their house. And it, it, I ignored those people. I put up a fence. I put up some landscapers, some big trees, and I, you, you can even see the house behind me. Now, of course they did all this because I was black. Mind you, when I first moved, in, before I even brought the house in that neighborhood in Buckhead, there was a woman who came up to me and she is out of the blue, she just appeared out of nowhere and said, are you gonna cut your grass? And she didn't say, hi, my name is Becky Ann, and I live out, my name is Karen, and I'm the white bitch that lives across the street, and I'm just coming over to harass your ass. No, she didn't say any of that. She didn't introduce herself at all. All she said is, are you going to cut your grass? Are you going to cut your grass? 
And I remember standing there looking at this crazy white woman, and I was with, I never forget that because I was with a friend of mine and I was with the guy who was a, 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 a pool installer. We were looking at the yard to figure out where we were going to put the pool at. And um, he was a white guy, and he just kind of, he had walked work with me on numerous pools before, and he just kind of looked, and I guess he caught her because he just kind of walked away like, what in the world? And I remember talking to this crazy white woman and walking her through that house. Because she had walked through the front door of the house. The house, I was in the process of purchasing it. She walked through the front door of the house and um, came all the way through the house to the backyard to ask me, was I going to cut my grass? Mind you, y'all, when I moved into the house, my house is probably one of the most beautiful homes on that whole street. I've always maintained my yard and cut my grass and never, never I'm very, when it comes to your, my homes and yards, I've always, I wish y'all had the landscapers over here yesterday, we were going over all the stuff that I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have done at this house. But, um, you just have to wonder about people, especially when it comes to these racist white folks in their racist ways and how they don't have any problem with hurting somebody or trying to harm somebody. Maybe it's just me, but I keep my distance from these neighbors. I really wish that she'd never next door. And I would tell you, I'll tell anybody, stay away from these racist white folks, especially if they, you live next door to them, or whether they're racist, right, white or black. If you're dealing with an ignorant neighbor and you have a dispute, call 911. Let the police handle it. That's what they're there for. Let them be the ones to handle the, the situation. I wouldn't be out there talking with these neighbors, trying to, um, I mean, what would be the point? Maybe gets that bed, go to court, you know, and you have your dispute there. But trying to resolve this stuff yourself today in this day and age, I don't think that's a good idea for your own safety, for your own family. I wouldn't be out there talking to no neighbors about some arguments some neighbors about. I would just call 911, which is what I would suggest anyone do, especially in this day and age. Well, yeah, these are just my thoughts and opinions. I mean, I really hate that this happened to this family and they watched their mom get shot and killed at such a front porch by this crazy white woman who clearly had been on a rampage for years. Yeah, I would have packed up and moved. I wouldn't have stayed in that house. I would have packed up and left. I would have moved. There's no way I would have stayed living in a community like that where I have to be over here arguing with my neighbor who doesn't like me or my children. And none of it, I would have just left. I would have packed up and left. That's why I don't even want to be bothered these neighbors because I don't want to have to deal with something like that. I don't want to be bothered with these neighbors and their craziness. But again, that's just my thoughts and opinion. This is going to be a short video because I need to lay down for a second. I don't know why I'm having such a headache today. Like something's going on, but I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm drinking this water and stuff. I ate something earlier, but I, I need to rest for a second. Today is Sunday, June 11th, the year 2023, and I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of I look forward to reading y'all's comments and your thoughts and opinions about this scenario, this sad situation. I said I was going to do a video about that, about this incident. I'm seeing, because we're seeing so many incidents where neighbors have grabbed guns to handle disputes. Clearly, this woman did not handle this the correct way. And she's charged with manslaughter. She should be charged with murder. Leads to my thoughts and opinions. She should be. She should have been charged with murder. Anyway, I'm out of here. You all enjoy the rest of this beautiful Sunday. I might come back and do another video. We'll see. I'm out. Bye bye.